my room. Why? Didn't think she hated me this much. Oh. <sighs> Huh? The child of the full moon? The leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their lives and power. It sealed the autophagus away, saving the world. <laughs> you have awakened. Duke, so it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay. I still owe you my thanks. So the Shrine of Zaude was powered by the lives of the Children of the Full Moon? Humans brought forth the Autophagos and led it. Consider it... Atonement. The few remaining children of the full moon, together with the Entelikea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial family are their descendants. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true Emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos. For it is born of air itself. You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air crene, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. I have aligned myself with the Entelikea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. So, what are you trying to do? The Autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelikea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumares. Hold on! Ugh. Damn it! Estelle? Repeat? Yuri! <laughs> Ouch! Hey, hold on a sec! Yuri! It's really you! Right? You're not a ghost or something! Oh good, you have a shadow! Yeah, I'm living! And yeah, that hurts! Thank goodness! I'm so happy! Pete just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Thanks. I'm fine now. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess so. I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I want to go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia, too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. 
It seems that relations between the Empire and the Guilds are worsening again. Are they still like that? Supposedly it's because of Zaude. They went to make sure the Guilds didn't do anything rash. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are gonna be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. I'm so sorry. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. You should still rest today. Rita, Carol, they can all wait a little longer to see you. <laughs> As you wish. Estelle, repeat. Sorry to worry you. We were stuck on top of Zaude. We couldn't get down. But Flynn and all the rest of the knights managed to help us. Huh. Sounds like everyone had a pretty rough time. But we're all safe now. All of us. I'm so happy. The air crisis, Duke, the Autophagos. We still got a mountain of problems to deal with. Alexei unleashed something terrible. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. Just what is the Autophagos? Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life. For everyone. That's why we fight. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, it is. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Oh, it's really you! Thanks, everybody. Don't go taking that young lady around everywhere. She must be tired. What do you mean? Estelle, were you using your power? She fixed up every wounded person who came back. We're all in her debt. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. Don't worry. Leave it to brave Vesperia. There you go again. And just how are you gonna close up that hole in the sky? Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. That's far enough. Now you, what do you want? <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Huh? A warrant? For me? Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? That has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the knights, and this all goes away. What? 
Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please. So? You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. <sighs> hey, Swan! What? Where? Hey, wait! So long, everyone. Take care! <laughs> Just as I thought. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's go! Arrest that man! This hill's pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. Yuri! Whoa, Patty. Where did you come from? Yuri! Thank the Seven Seas! I knew you were still alive! Yep, still kicking. Somehow. Huh? Hey, Judith! Estelle, I just came to get you. Where's Rita? Rita's an ospio putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. Yeah, right. Hey, I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. <laughs> Goodbye, knights. Get back here! You know, at first I wasn't comfortable with fighting, but recently I've gotten quite used to it. Oh yeah? Well, you have been fighting a lot, huh? It looks like you're still wasting energy with some unnecessary movements, though. I always try hard to think of what I should do next, but somehow I just can't get things right. Maybe you're thinking too hard? If you fought more on a gut level, your body might respond more fluidly. On a gut level? I see. So I just need to follow my instincts. You think maybe she misunderstood what we were saying? Maybe. But I think she'll figure things out. like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. I'm really glad to see you're still breathing, Yuri. Sorry that I made you look for so long. Well, it wasn't my first treasure hunt, was it? Estelle was the first one who found him, though. Right. So, alas, we were delayed. Are you really treating me like some pretty bobble to be picked up? You're the treasure I've always been looking for. Oh, now that's true on multiple levels. No special meaning. I mean what I said. Indeed. You are all treasures to me. And now we're off on another treasure hunt? Exactly. We'll have to be quick and be sure nobody gets to our loot before us. We 
should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita! What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given De Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle... That was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory... We have to release the control formula on Estelle. So... If everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway... I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. Alright, me hearties! Let's get going! If he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was alright if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap! Are you happy? Ugh. <sighs> Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? Oh! Yuri! I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! Sorry for worrying you. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, I said Yuri was my boy first. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <sighs> if you're both done messing around, we just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? 
Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The Apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Belius' Apatheia, the Cyanosiel. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he know being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's air ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That epithea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? Well, that would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zod. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. 
Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. The Dawn told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Uh, you make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you! Wait up! <laughs> what about the Apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Here. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated air crene that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Horror! Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Horror! Ah, oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. <laughs> <laughs>